<laughs> Don't step on my little white car right there. <laughs> and you, and you, <laughs> and you. <laughs> hey, yo, fool. <laughs> Big ball is back, baby. Teach me how to shoot. <laughs> that was loud. <laughs> oh, what the? Oh, yeah, that's how quick it is. Who are you going to be a cowboy in eight after this? Look out. I'm learning. House guest, let's get it. I had to pull up in Orlando, Florida, at my boy Quinn Richardson's house. He said, always pull up whenever you want. You like family, so we're going to put that to the test. Walk with me. Who the hell is at my door? One thing I don't like is uninvited gifts. Bro, what's good? Bro. What's up, bro? Your spidey senses tingling or something? I'm in here unboxing my Jordan boxes. Did you I know? know. See, I, I know, know. I know you got your bro up here. I know you got. First of all, I'm 15. You small foot. But what are you doing here now? I came to chop it over my bro. I'm busy. I got boxes to unpack. Shoe fly. Don't bother me. See how you do me? Hey, hurry up, man. Go on. You too. Hey, hey. All hey. right, man. Dang. Don't call the police. Jeez, chill. What's going on? Hey, Rob. I'm just gonna go to my boy Drew Gooden's house right quick, man. My man, tell me you can pull up anytime you pull up. And now look, thank God Drew lives right next door. Oh, you rich, rich. Okay, Drew. Bentley truck. This is a Bentley truck two chains is talking about. Ooh, should I make a wish? What's good, bro? How you doing, bro? Oh huh? uh, man, you know. Oh, this is beautiful, man. Yeah, man, welcome to the crib. We built this last year. I got a couple pieces I want to show you. I know you like wine. This wine are, are is you cool. You the wine, right? This is nice. This is like the, at the restaurants. I turned into like the uh, the neighborhood liquor store. I designed all of this. Like you said, you seen in a couple of restaurants. What you said? STK. One? STK. Yeah, this is like the, STK. That New type York. of vibe. That's a nice vibe. But I keep a lot of the reds in here. All right. Yeah. Yeah. It's a nice painting, too. In this piece particular, I know the artist, Denji, at Denji. Check his Instagram out. I got another one of these Denji pieces around the corner right here. OK, right here. This at the bed. web bar, the web bar. Uh, and this one right here is called The Red Cycle. He does not sign any of his paintings. Why you know, is that? I feel like it might the piece might be his, home, his signature <laughs> already, you feel me? Right. It's a man cave, another dingy piece right here. A little different backsplash. Got the wet bar area, fridge. This is a nice little man cave. TV's going. Appreciate it. I know yeah. you may miss so you know, you always, I know you're gonna get that. You always, go, you always walk in one of those offices. And yeah, you, you see know, all the four or five TVs? You feel me? I was like, I need, I said, if I ever get a man cave. I need that, uh. So what's this? This right here is a uh, inversion, I believe. Table, you would call this? But it's for the it's for the back, you know what I'm saying? So you, you hang upside down. They say it's not good to go no more than five minutes, but um, it's good to realign your spine. You want to try it? Yeah, I'll try it. All right, now what? Pull this right here. That's tight. You good? Yeah. yeah you ever did a backflip before? Of course, man. Come on, man. All right, all right, for sure. Well, you ain't you gonna go halfway? You ready? Yep. There you go. Push away. Oh, OK. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? You may try to go all the way up. Huh? I mean, how far can I go? You can go all the way. But hold on, though. All right, damn. How do I go back? <laughs> he said, damn. That hit rush, huh? Yeah, that was crazy. You got to go. You got to go slow. Okay. Playing the piano. Bro, 
I taught lessons. My, I, I taught myself. I oh, never had lessons. I don't know how to read music. I hear it. You know what I'm saying? I always heard the music. My dad played in the band. So I was always at like band practice, you know what I'm saying? And always had a piano in the house, always banged on the keys. And that's kind of like how I picked up uh, playing it and hearing it. Come check out outside, man, you know what I'm saying? This like is a- Cool area. You know, this is one of the benefits of living in Florida, man. Like how you feel the weather right, right now. It's 80, what, 80, <laughs> like 82 nice. degrees right now, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And, so you get to see this every night, but this is beautiful, dog. Yeah, this is yeah. lit. And you know, you yeah, got the water features right there, which gives it a different type of uh, view looking off. And in the daytime, sometimes you get these sunsets where the water, I mean, it's just going straight off into that, into that pond, so. This is the domino area right here, but look who we have here. <laughs> My I neighbor. I told you he was over here. AKA I knew, I knew there you go. Just, now look, I'm over here. Bro, you didn't crash the neighborhood. Yeah, you got, you finally made it inside uh, I'm somewhere. I'm in here, bro. I told you I was busy, man. I was unpacking my, fun I'm packing my boxes, man. You gonna have you gonna have some Jordans sent to the crib? Size 15, small feet. <laughs> See how he do me? What's up, bro? This guy cuz, cute, cuz in the building. You know what I'm saying? It's all good, bro. Benji. The reason why there's so much wear and tear on this table right here and these dominoes, this has been a lot of. Hey, yeah, that, that. I can attest that I got yeah, my, that, that. I have my but this fair book share right here, of this, this, is the, this, is this is the manuscript. This is the manuscript. That's right, that's the manuscript. I sit here and play this all day. Yeah, so we got everybody, we got D. Miles, Q. Rich, we got a big I, drew. I got my fair share up in there. I'm, I'm uh, in there. Reese, everybody's in there. Everybody's Kes, on the Kes. You feel? We, might, we gotta probably get you in the book. Man, one day, you man. Might get a win. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, might get a win. You might get a win. We might get Nate in the book. Do you remember the day you uh, met Q? It was him and Darius Miles, you know, they were like attached to the hip. It was at uh, Santa Barbara at the Jordan camp, and we would play pickup after the camp. Right. And Q Rich and D Miles, they drove up from, uh, they were play with the Clippers at the time, they drove up to come play in the open gym with the college kids and, and, and Michael Jordan. And Q Rich had the, what was that, Escalade? Was it a Tahoe or something? What white was that? Escalade. It was a white Escalade with hundreds folks, bro. And then they came in there with the big chain, like the big. Give us a glimpse of the whole you and Darius Mouse era and when you guys came in as rookies. Literally the, the core group of guys that played the most minutes, we were all kids. We should have been a college team. You had Darius that was 18, myself, Corey, Lamar Odom, Keon, all 19. And then the year after that, we get Elton when we all turn 20 and, and Darius is 19. So now we're all this age, 20 and 19. And then it was the family atmosphere because all of our friends that was, you know, that would come out with us, they were all in college. They didn't get to come out. You go over one person's house, somebody have a barbecue, somebody go out for dinner, somebody go out to the club, we all going out. Right. I know we all play college, college ball. What, what did you feel like when you saw your face on the cover of what was it, NCAA, what was that, I want to say, right. what was that, 2002? I think, yeah, look, 2002, because I was, I was yeah. a senior in high school at that time. <laughs> <laughs> the first time and those guys were cracking though. No, like, weren't they? No, no, they were yeah, I'm they telling you. Sick. It was like, wow. And then I looked at the cover, I was like. And everybody <laughs> had that joint. Yeah, but I mean, just but, to look at that, but then I looked at my left arm, it had me dunking with my left arm, and it was like a little baby arm. <laughs> And I was like, I was like. I gotta go back and look at that. Yo, look at it, please, bring it up. Bring it up, I have never, we talked about this today, I can't duck at all with my left hand. And I was like, man, I can't do that stuff with my left That's funny, but that 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 literally changed the game for as a kid, like that's something that we always wanted to be a part of is being on the cover of some shit. When I made March Madness when I was on that, well, I was like, hey, my rate was dope. I was a freshman getting all the buckets. And you knew what new number you were, but they didn't have your name on it. Exactly, it didn't matter, I knew. <laughs> So post-career, guys. I think the transition was a lot easier for me because I was scared of retiring a lot earlier than I think other guys were. I was scared about retiring when in my 10th year. So during that time, I you know, invested in the franchise, Wingstop, and which I still have now nine years later, which is successful. And then I started to learn the business through that uh, particular asset, and then that just carried on over into commercial real estate and, you know, just learning the game a lot better and then learning how to leverage things. And 
the transitions are a lot easier for me, and it's you know it's, it's levels to it. Yeah, man, same thing for me. Uh, the tiring probably before I I had planned to. I hate to say we kind of stumbled into the podcast, but literally yeah, we happened. did. A million, like we yeah. a million dollars. Congratulations, <laughs> Q. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Respect, respect. Low, I was like, boy, he can make them Drake, them Drake numbers. <laughs> I was like, yeah, <laughs> you know. Crazy. So did you ever see the podcast taking off like this? I didn't even have a clue that it, it was possible for it to take off like this. For it to be this huge machine and avenue to take and it's its own lane and stuff like that. And then to have, you know, the, the response and the success that we've had from the fans and stuff like for us, it's just overwhelming. We got nothing but appreciation and for the, you know, for the love we get in the response. And, we just gonna try and keep doing the same thing. All right, well, listen, man, Drew, I appreciate you guys, yeah, you know, having no me doubt, here. No Q, I appreciate no you doubt. kicking me out, bringing me over to this crib. You feel me? Making me go over to see Bo. You know, it's been, it's been, it's been real. <laughs> Pulling that shit from the earth. <laughs>